Mercury, or Quicksilver as it was once known, is really one of the most spectacular and memorable of the elements. Mercury has this extraordinary reputation as, on the one hand, I think the most beautiful, but also one of the most feared elements in the periodic table. And I have here a jar which contains almost a liter of mercury. And I'm just going to pick it up here. And the thing is that what I cannot capture for you in this video is the extraordinary weight of this stuff. Is that this jar weighs about 12 and a half kilos. It's impossibly heavy. And anyone picking this up, they either say, oh my god, or they laugh, or better still, they swear. If you actually start thinking about it, there's an extraordinary number of experiments and phenomena that were really un carried out or uncovered using mercury, and probably no more so than the idea of vacuum and the pressure of gases. Even today, many of us still use mercury manometers because it turns out to be the most convenient method for actually measuring the pressure of a gas. And particularly when you're in the lab, and you're trying to do something like a distillation to purify an organic compound, one of the things you will do is use a mercury manometer to monitor the pressure. And I have one over here. You can see that there's a U-tube here which contains mercury. And you can see that the level is different between the two sides. And if I change the pressure slightly, here I'm letting a little bit more air into the system, the pressure actually sort of increases. In other words, the vacuum drops, and if, on the other hand, I seal things off, you can see that our vacuum actually improves. So manometers were absolutely have been fundamental to chemical research, really, for 200 years or thereabouts. For someone who's actually doing a distillation, as you reduce the pressure, the boiling point decreases. This is why, when mountain climbers go up Everest, what they find is that when they make their tea, the tea comes out at 60 degrees. Well, the same effect is something that's exploited by chemists all the time. In order to be able to distill things at low temperature, fragile molecules, which would otherwise be destroyed higher up. And mercury manometers are an integral part of that.